What's going on my friends? Mike here and welcome to 2023. It is Thursday the 5th. I am going to try something different this year that I haven't done in a while and that is just start uploading videos again. I've been really lazy on it and I'm gonna see if I can take you guys along on some more rides than normal. Could be everyday life, could be going out spear fishing, could be rod and reeling. You never know. I'm going to try to get this channel kick started again. So I have a part time job underwater. I do salvage and maintenance diving on the side, and I've got an account of 20 boats as far as the maintenance goes cleaning boat bottoms, zinks just kind of make sure everything's all nice and tidy underneath so the boat runs efficiently in the water. It's reaching about noon, so I'm going to see if I can hit at least three of them and take you underwater with me and show you what I see whenever I go underwater and look at these boats and get them cleaned up, shaped up. Right now we are at a 35 Cabo Sport Fish. Water looks pretty clean for the most part. Debris on top. It's kind of that's what happens when the tide comes in. I'm gonna take the the other GoPro and my good light, which is this guy. This will light up the bottom and and take you around and let you see what I see when I first get in on some of these boats. So I just got out of the water, really wasn't bad, changed some zincs on the trim tabs and cleaned up the hull and the running gear. Not too bad, been here about roughly an hour on a 35 Cabo. The paint is fouled, running gear is fouled, but it's not in super bad shape yet, so it's definitely manageable. On to the next. 
<clears throat> so I just finished up the Cabo, changed both zinc anodes on each of the trim tabs. There's a stern zinc plate that needs to be changed probably next time or two. So change those out, clean the bottom up. It wasn't horrible. I know they're trying to get that that one hauled out and it just hasn't happened yet because of Ian and and uh, all of the the hurricane issues and and everyone being backed up now I am headed into Cape Hayes Marina so let's go and see what we've got underneath this boat for those of you wondering being that it is January the water is a little bit cool. It's about 62 to 64 degrees, depending on where you take the temperature of the water at. A little thicker wetsuit is in order. And so that's what I have on. I have a eight millimeter semi-dry Hollis Neotech on. Keeps me very warm in the lower 60 degree water. Couldn't be happier with it. So let's get under this boat and see what's going on. So that hull was just bottom painted in the last couple of months and you can really tell because it was really, really clean underneath almost everywhere. Just a couple of barnacles on the transducer and back around the trim tab actuators. Just had a little bit, but it really makes a difference when the boat owner keeps up on the underside of the boat. So that's that. Um, not super glamorous, but it's a way to make money underwater. I got about 20 of those boats. Brings in, you know, extra money per month. It's almost like mowing the yard. You get a yard account, you get a boat account. You keep up with it uh, on a monthly basis. Those of you that want to know how to make money underwater, that's one way. My boats range from 20 feet all the way to, I believe I've got a 46 foot Aquila uh, live aboard cat at Marine Max and it is a monster but very cool boat catamarans you can't beat them super stable I'm gonna hit that one this weekend along with two or three others 
For those of you who have that burning question that runs through your head of what about the sea life? Are you ever worried about sharks? Are you ever worried about alligators being in the canals and the residential waterways that you're cleaning boats in? And the fact of the matter is, is there's always a chance that sharks will be there. Bull sharks are known to come in canals. Um, alligators this is their home I don't think about it it's not something that concerns me so no I have had the instance where I was cleaning a boat and a manatee came up and ran me and took my legs out at the time I didn't know if it was a manatee or what it was so that was a little spooky that happened I don't know six eight months ago aside from that nothing's ever really nothing's ever bothered me um, and I don't think about it too much. I appreciate those of you that have followed along on the journey so far and to the new subscribers, welcome. Hopefully you will be back for some more and we will see you on the next one. Cheers.